We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr.? Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Doesn't that make you gay? If there's anything that needs to be understood about Dale and his organization is that they are a group of cowards and big talking pansies and incels and simps and above all else, internet tough guys. They behave like they run the world from the other side of a computer screen all because they're part of some made up online group with some weirdo who hates his own birth name Dale Wilson and what they will do is they'll defend anything Dale Wilson does and it's honestly quite embarrassing ah uh, so very recently on one of my most recent uploads, I had one of these individuals, one of the Cuckinant, one of his, one of the Dale sexuals, the closeted, comment and challenge me to a fight. Uh, so what we're going to do is read that comment together, because I had initially missed the comment um, for quite a long while. So the comment went through because once a video goes up, a lot of comments come through. You know, it's not a brag, but it's honest, a lot of comments do come through. And I try to respond to as many of them as possible. Uh, and if you've been a fan of my channel, you can look and see I respond to a lot of comments. Um, so I missed it, especially when it's in another comment train, I don't see it. Um, so eventually I did see and I did respond once I was informed by somebody in Discord that this comment was there. So an individual by the by the name of Tear Sexual Pounder or Covenant Clerk decided to comment and challenge me to a fight. So let's go ahead and read this entire comment chain so one of my mods uh jamon523 uh commented bro that intro i was saying that yesterday but i didn't think you'd actually do it 10 out of 10 singing voice petty as hell because i did a parody of the um roast from gta and i replied i had to um so then he uh, this covenant clerk in this individual whose name was originally tear sexual bounder so you know it's a dale sexual because that's what he calls us the people who call him out on his nonsense he calls us the tear sexuals so he says here um yes or no question i want some clout like you do too would love to punk an lcg troll anytime i pay my flight all you do is sign a waiver. Sorry, he said boxing match. Yes, no question. Um, and someone else responded uh, by the name of Willie Jack. Okay, Dale Sexual, whatever you say. He responds back, defending your daddy. Let him answer it. We'll see. Well, see, not wheel, apparently. Uh, if you tear sexuals really about that life in a boxing match, if you're not going to accept, don't waste my time. Uh, then Symbiote Freezer is a response, I don't have any clout in it or anything, how would I fuck you up? Uh, and then he responds, if this simp vault stops deleting my comments, I might be able to respond to you. Post your email, don't waste my time, I can have a waiver ready ASAP, I'm in USA, it will be recorded for YouTube too. I don't delete any comments on my videos, um, just to say. No comments on my videos are ever deleted. The YouTube system will automatically delete comments if they say too much in them, like if they have too many swears, um, if they have too many threats, like YouTube will automatically delete the comment itself. I don't have to do anything. I don't do anything. I wish YouTube didn't do it because I don't care what people say um, in terms of I'm not trying to police um, comments, you know what I mean? Uh, but then he also said, uh, the cloak says, we know Vault won't accept it though, he's all talk, or has all talk, forgive me. Uh, it's easy to troll someone when everyone else agrees with you. Let's see if either of you worthless punks are really about it. Sylvia says, give me yours and I'll contact you right away. I'm in Canada, QC Pounder, LMAO, gay as fuck. Uh, I think that's what his name was, Pounder. Um... So he says, uh, you're stalling, post the email, last time I'm going to ask, that's what I thought, sissy. Um, that's one sissy exposed, many more to come. 
He says, why you ain't giving it to me and then, big boy? And if you actually come, please just take one ticket because you're not going back after. He said, I don't know. Sexual Pounder switched back his name to Covenant Clerk. What a pussy. You're done, kid. Um, then the Emperor Hyperion uh, commented, tough guy on the internet fighting for his champion. A champion famed for losing more than winning. Let's beat someone else up because the only Dale... The only one Dale Wilson could beat up in a competitive scene was Killer Miller, a third wave feminist. Let's kill someone because Dale plays like a cracked out Dean Takahashi. Go fist the wall. He says nobody posted their emails yet. Tear sexuals are all bark. Took the fence out and they got quiet. This is beyond a troll thing now, being past that for a long time. So this guy thinks it's beyond a troll thing now. He's all mad and all big and broad because uh, you know I hurt I hurt his his boss's feelings. Uh, so Symbiote Freezer responds, Why'd you change why'd you change name, kid? LMAO BBC Logic, give us your email. Told you I will fight you. One ticket, you're not going back home after. Um Cloak says you're making yourself look stupid. Keep responding. You're exposed, son, hold the L. Uh, Freezer responds just like Daddy Dale. The cognates are, are all barking. Cute puppy. Hyperion says, exposed to what? Stupidity? I'd imagine everyone around the cock in it would be. Simp. Tell me, do you taste of a scant or guilty? Maybe cereal blast. And then some random person says, reading uh, this reply section made my brain hurt. Shirley Leo says, are you seriously uh, keeping that name after all the video of Hulk Rev exposing uh, LCG? Are you really okay with your deity making fun of Dale misspelling uh, deity? Doxing people? Are you really fine with him sending people to force flag video? Doesn't it make you question about LTG mindset? It's really baffling me, not gonna lie. You seriously need help, unless of course it's just an LT LTG sock account. I rest my case. Then I'm still Leon Major, but Ariaya says, LOL, you have to be a troll. And this is when I finally realized that, um, like, this is when someone has sent me a message on Discord saying, hey, this guy has a problem. So I said, sure thing. Send me a DM on my Twitter. It's the same as my YouTube name. And I waited. It says one week ago in the screenshots. But I waited, I want to say maybe half an hour. And I didn't see anything. So I said again, my Twitter is at VoltRepXIV. Send me a DM and let's get it going. Uh, and Covenant Cloak said, creating a Twitter just for that. Then, thank you. And I responded, I'll be waiting. And recently, in, uh, Incel Sympathizer said, did anything come with this? Nothing has come with this. I'm putting my Twitter on screen. These are all of my DMs. And Covenant Cloak, Dale Sexual, Tear Sexual Pound or whatever. If you can dispute this, screen record your DMs of me, of you DMing me, um, and then me not responding to the message because you never sent me a message. And I'm going to be honest with you. Initially, when I initially saw the message, I thought, geez, am I going to respond to this? Because I was like, okay, it's not completely unfeasible. And I'm going to be honest because my channel is all about truth. I don't want to lie to you guys. I'm like, it's not completely unfeasible that there is a Dale sexual who is a legitimate boxer, like trained his entire life, can fight. I'm not a boxer. I've never been trained in boxing. I can throw a punch. I've fought people before. I'm trained in martial arts. I'm trained in Wing Chun. And I was like, damn, do I want to get myself in a situation in which I can get beat the hell up? So initially, I was going to be like, okay, let me just ignore it. It's whatever. But then I said, no, you know, I was not raised that way. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to back down from a fight. And there's not, there's no expense on my end. He's going to get a, a plane ticket and a waiver to wherever I am to have this go down. Fine. Let's do it. I don't care. I'm not going to back down. If I lose the fight, I lose the fight. I'm not Dale Wilson. I'm not a coward. I will take the fight. I will fight this man. I was initially going to have him message me and then say, hey, um... I'm not a boxer, can we do like a, uh, an MMA fight situation so that I can, you know, fight in a way that I'm accustomed to fighting or something else like a street fight so where, you know, we can use our own techniques and not have to, you know, go into your playground. But I was like, even if he said no, I will take the boxing match because at the end of the day, that makes me a bigger man than Dale from not backing down from a challenge. And what did this man do? He was all talk. Just like Dale, like when Dale threatened our lives, saying he'd kill us or beat us up or whatever. I'm going to inform the authorities, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for niggas sitting outside of the place and everything like that. I'm going to kill somebody for real. And I'm going to let the cops know that I will murder somebody. That I will murder somebody out of self-defense for stalking me or coming up to me or anything like that. I'm just letting y'all niggas know. And that Discord, if I catch you niggas at all, stalk at my shit, trying to fuck with my belongings, I will murder you. On me. God damn, nigga, I would kill you niggas IRL.
It's all talk and quite honestly, it's exhausting and embarrassing. Why are you guys all buck? This shows you the community that he fosters. This shows you the kind of people that he has in his community. They do nothing. They are nothing. They're just talk. He's a 36 year old cashier with no prospects for the future who thinks he's gonna be a millionaire off of selling shit glittery hoodies on, on the internet. All of you lot, Dale Sexuals, Dale Wilson, all of you, behave yourselves. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate all your support. I do have channel merch out now. I have Behave Yourself coffee mugs and the Vault V coffee mugs. Check the link in the description if you guys want to support the channel by getting a coffee mug. And a huge, huge shout out to my channel members for constantly supporting and making this, this easier to do and making it easier for me to make more content and making it um, so that content comes out faster. So shout out to Kion Senzu, Boy Blaster, Bulma, Chameleon, Astral Code 5, Murder Wolf 23, Masturbation, Dale Slayer, DJ Funky Fro, Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, Shilia Leo, Mira Obviously, LK Fio 96, The Higher Blues of Devil, Waifu Susie Chan, JCM, Lord Eisen, Chris Jericho, Juice Lee, Miles Peaceman, Reaper Rose, Trevor Belmont, Adrian Maciel, Kenneth Douglas, Dogs of Rain, Spike Glaze, Nastasia, Del Chronicles, Blurp, and Benny Hill Jr. You guys are the greatest. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. I've got to find a more fun way to shout you guys out moving forward. Take care of yourself.